I'm not sure how I'm doing. The answer's not well, but I guess it could be any multitude of things other than... Yo, remember all the things that you and I did first? And now you're doing them with her? Remember all the things that you and I did first? You got me, got me like this! I was posing, then this happened. Yo, bro. What's up? What's your running right now? Uh, I'm not on anything. Dude, I know you're on something. What are you on? What the fuck do you mean? I'm not on anything. Dude, I know you're on trend. Just tell me. I'm not. Dude, you clearly are. Well, what's up? What's up? What do you mean, what's up? You tell me what's up. What's up? Oh, I'll tell you what's up. No, I don't do drugs. What's your name? Rachel. 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 And what do you do for a living? Nothing. Nothing. I'm lazy, lazy at the moment. moment. Do you ever sing professionally? Yeah, yeah, of course. I've been singing, singing all my life, life all around the towns and everything. everything. Okay. Do you think that you're capable of winning this contest? Yeah. yeah. And how good from one to ten would you rate yourself? Ten. Ten. Well, Whatever I'm song you want me to sing, I'll do it. Gwen Stefani, I can sing. Prince, I can sing. Sheila E, Carly, Dan, I probably could do Danny as well. I can sing better than Madonna. You're better. Yeah, I think. All right, can I have a microphone, please? She's holding a stick above my head. It'll find you. Where I come from this place called heaven? A place where all the good children go. This is ridiculous. Only babies and ex-junkies are afraid of needles. Stick me, Chuckles. <laughs> Can I have a lollipop? There are no raindrops on roses and goats in white glasses Sleeping with roses, taking the gas in the It's an all-girl party, clothing optional. Me and your girlfriend playing dress up in my house. Come sit in McDaddy's lap. On the... On the McDouble. When I was like 14 years old, my super fundamentalist church put on one of those haunted houses that simulate going to hell. And they got this big order of mannequins to use for body parts. And I thought the mannequins were cool, so I took one home and put clothes on it and set it up in the corner of my room. And then one night after everyone had gone to bed, I put on a Janet Jackson tape. And then I went over and I kissed the mannequin. And then I took off its pants and then we went all the way. And then afterwards I was super embarrassed So like a serial killer I dismembered the mannequin and threw it in a trash bag And then um, I don't know why I didn't just throw it away But for some reason I hid it in the garage And then just sort of forgot about it And many years later my parents moved out of that house And uh, they never said anything motherfucker we all agree he's a piece of shit we would all commit brutal acts of violence if we saw him that being said that you got me bewitched kiss him under your spell whoa you must be a witch. and you know his name is kyle gas rocking and fucking rolling and fucking rocking and fucking rolling and fucking <laughs> You're a silver in state based in the mainland from 1912 to 1949? No, that's the Republic of China. I have a fishy smelling vagina. Get the fuck off my porch! Get your ass off this motherfucking porch, bitch! I, I learned a valuable lesson going to prison. And that's, uh, my shit didn't stink, you know?
me after dinner. Can we have sweets? Zachary, I already said no. I know you said no. I feel like you don't mean it. And I'm going to ask you a few more times. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. Don't make me change my mind. Now I won't live to see. Hey Gary, are you hungry? Meow. Here, have some salt. I guess you can call this a salt. <laughs> SpongeBob with the salt shaker down. Make me shithead. Are you calling shithead? This isn't you, SpongeBob. SpongeBob isn't here anymore. Only God. To be continued. My coochie meow meow is not pink because I'm brown. Roast beef. My coochie meow meow I can't see because I'm fat. Mystery meat. I only watched Once Upon a Time for that one hot guy. Oh yeah, Captain Hook, right? Yes. The age-appropriate, conventionally attractive man. Definitely not. Scaly lizard man! Gromit! Wake up, Gromit! Come on, Gromit! We've got to hide the body! There's no cheese in- Well, another night without a 5-4 brunette in my bed. I'm gonna eat some coke and drink some Mentos and see what happens. Oh, I really don't feel good, guys. Look how bloated I am right now. I can't breathe. I think I feel it coming. I think I... <laughs> Can I kiss you? No, I don't like you. Well, do you remember that time when you turned a dead dog back to life? No, I've never done that. Yeah, you have. I saw you. No, you didn't. I've never done that. Bye. Just going to tell everyone that you're a witch. I'm not a witch. Don't tell people that. Too bad, witch. Have fun on the Bernie Bernie pole. Sometimes you get what you fucking deserve. Sometimes you don't get what you fucking deserve. Ah, 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 ah. The last pick in your camera roll is the reason you're still alive. So let's paint the sky. Here comes the next contestant. Is that your Tell me the story of the fattest thing you ever did. Okay, well, I'll go. So I had me one of them, um, uh, one of them holiday cupcakes, the kind you get from the grocery store that's got the little ring in it. You take the ring out, you lick the icing off because you're greedy. One of those. So I had one of those in a bowl with an ice cream. So I got my ice cream and my cupcake. I'm getting ready to smash. My phone rings. I answer the phone like, hello? On the other side of the phone, I hear my mama's voice. She like, I get to the hospital now. Uh, it's an emergency. I'm like, what's she like someone when Robert gets to the hospital right now. Robert's my stepdad. So she called me, told me something was wrong at this hospital. So I was like, I got to eat this holiday cupcake first. So I bang this holiday cupcake. I mean, tear this holiday cupcake up. It was so delicious. So then after I took my precious time and ate this cupcake because I'm fat and greedy, I go up to the hospital, come to find out Robert did. Ain't that some <laughs> true story? 
my super fundamentalist Christian youth group, we put on those haunted houses that simulated going to hell. And I know that sounds weird, but you have to remember it was the 90s. And the haunted house started with your funeral, which is an entertaining place to start an evening. And you had to crawl under the casket. And then it was just room after room of white suburban teenagers screaming at you about things they didn't know anything about. And in the haunted house, there was like a dance club rave room because clearly raves were a sin. Um, but there was like dance music and glow sticks. And that room was the most fun for obvious reasons. And we would all just end up in the rave in hell, having a good time and dancing. And I thought that's an elaborate meta layers of irony to go through just for a fun Friday night. <laughs> It's like funny you mentioned that actually because last summer I was looking at the country club. You know, your mom comes in and she's she's funny because you know, all the other moms they wear one pieces and she's always in that bikini. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, anyway, so I was a lifeguard and sometimes she'd you know swim during an adult swim and she'd stare at me and I'd go in with her because you know the lifeguards are allowed to. And one time she was staying really late. I think big dick should be awarded to people who are like loving and caring and good for their community and take their kids to the park and push them on the swing. Like they should have a fat cock to throw around. But no, it's Kyle selling Xanax laced with fentanyl on the corner of 5th Street. Like fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Oh my god. They're playing My Chemical 